Yeah, g'day viewers, hope you're all well. And I suppose everyone's sort of locked down with a C19 business going on. Anyway, it's been a while since I've put together any videos. Main reason is that the power supply on my computer had failed and I took a while to order a new one. But anyway, that's up and running, so I'm able to uh, put together some videos for you mob to look at. So, have a look around my shed and show you what's happening. Got an old telephone up here, an old Soviet bunker telephone. Yeah, this is a uh, binary clock I made. Oh, it'll be over 20 odd years ago, and it's still working. And I'll also incorporate it with an Ixi tube clock, so it sort of helps you read the binary time. So we'll have a quick look at this. So yeah, there we have it, and uh, oh, my old soldering on the original one on the left, the iron burned out, and so I end up getting another one, and because uh, I didn't have a holder for the actual soldering on, I'm just use the old iron next to it as a support. Got a big old time clock over here. Yeah, I'll get around to getting that one going soon, I hope. Anyway, getting back to the latest project I've got on. It's an old uh, German made battery charger, so I'm guessing it would be made in the 1920s. So it's 100 years old, I guess. And we'll run this one up and have a look. Okay, you can see the maker's name is Samson. I'll just turn this around. That's the output for your battery you're charging. Interesting design with a just a simple transformer. And uh, uses 
a Beretta uh, current regulator. And also has a mercury vapour rectifier, full wave rectifier I think. I'll run the voltage up to the unit via the Variac and I'll just use one of these old lamps as a load for the output. And uh, we'll measure the voltage uh, with a meter over here. We'll energize the unit now, so we're just going to increase the voltage slowly. 80 volts, 100, 120, 140, the rectifier will ionize very shortly, uh, here it goes, 160 volts, there we go, it's conducting. So it's delivering about, we've got 10 volts on the output now. What I'll do, I'll do a close up on the rectifier and try and get some good footage of the ionisation event. Oh, a bit of an update on one of my previous videos I was working on this old Philips battery charger and I finally finished it off I had a few other projects in front of me but I finished wiring it up and replaced the cord with uh, just some old original mains flex that's got the modern vinyl in it and I've just been using it to charge up batteries. I'll take the cover off and have another look inside. Rectifier bulb and the Berettas or just uh, current stabilizers.